Today, my friend, I will show you a lazy programmer trick to generate pull request descriptions with AI. Coding is enough work, so why should we write the PR ourselves? As a bonus, I will show you a small Python library I've just published named Lazy Coder. It lets you use AI to generate the pull request from the comfort of your terminal. Time to get lazy. Let's go. You know the saying, a lazy programmer is a good programmer. But we are not here to debate that today. Instead, we'll get lazy and let the AI do the work for us when it comes to writing those annoying pull request description. In this video, we first do it with ChatGPT and the GitHub website. Then I will show you how to do it with Lazy Coder, which is even simpler, and show you how it works. Here is the problem. You've just coded a fantastic new feature and opened a pull request. But now you're faced with the annoying task of describing your PR in detail. Even worse, you need to follow the templates. I feel you. And here is the trick to lazily avoid this issue. Fine. First, create an empty draft pull request. Here we take an existing one for the example. Then, retrieve the URL of the pull request and append .diff at the end to get all the code changes unified in one file. Copy and paste into ChatGPT. Copy the pull request template you have to follow. Now, ask ChatGPT to generate a description following the template. Hit enter and kick back while the AI is doing the tedious work. Congrats, you can now finalize the pull request and enjoy your free time. Perfect! Just a quick pause to remind you that if you're finding this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing. It's a simple way to ensure that you never miss out on a handy programming tricks like this one. Now, let's get back to it. Well done, but we can do even better. The limited context size of the AI model can trip you up. That's why you should keep your pull request small, which is good practice by the way. But to handle cases where the pull request is too long, or to make things simpler and avoid the back and forth between ChatGPT and GitHub, there is Lazy Coder. First, install the library by running pip install Lazy Coder. Then run Lazy Coder config credentials to configure your OpenAI API key and your GitHub access token. You can now generate the pull request description by running lazycoder PR generate with the repository name and the pull request number. It will prompt you to enter a pull request template. You can let it empty if you don't have one. Then sit back, relax, and tada, you get your pull request description. Here is how it works. Lazycoder cleverly breaks your PR into smaller documents that fits into the large language model context. Then it uses Langchain to create a refined chain that works in two steps. It starts by calling the model with the first chunk to create a first version of the pull request. Then it calls the model on all the other chunks, refining the answer as it incorporates new information. Let's take a look into the code. You can find it into the lazy coder repository on GitHub. I won't go through all the code, but specifically the part that generates the PR. We start with the function generate PR, which is decorated with the use credential decorator. This decorator serves as a utility to inject the OpenAI API key that we require for our operations. This function accepts three parameters, credentials, PR diff, and PR template. The credentials are used for authenticating with the OpenAPI. PR diff refers to the pull request differences fetched in a previous step, and PR template is the template given by the user. We start by creating an instance of chat OpenAI from the Longchain library. This class serves as a handy wrapper around OpenAI and is used later in the chain to process the pull request. Given the limitation of the model's context, approximately 4,000 tokens, we may need to handle situations where the pull request diff is too large. To manage this, we use the token text splitter from Longchain. This utility splits our PR diff into manageable chunks that can fit within the model context, and we store those chunks in the docs variable. Next, we proceed to create our initial and refining prompts. Those prompts are loaded from the disk using the Jinja templating engine and the PR template variable is interpolated into those templates. The initial prompt is used to start the conversation with the model using the first text chunk. While the refining prompt is designed to refine the initial answer, only if the new text input adds relevant new information. With our prompts prepared, we establish two chains. The initial one using the initial prompt and the refining chain using the refining prompt. Those chains are instances of LLM chain from long chain, which are used to orchestrate a sequence of interactions with the model. Further, we construct a refined document chain from long chain. 
This chain uses the initial and refining chains along with specific variable names for the document and initial response. This chain is designed to first utilize the initial chain to create a response from the first chunk of the text, and then iteratively refine this response using the remaining chunks of text. Finally, we execute our refine documents chain on the chunks of our PR div stored in docs. This process involves first calling the initial chain to generate a starting response using the initial prompt, then each subsequent chunk is processed by the refining chain. This refining chain takes the existing response and, if the new chunk adds relevant information, announces the response accordingly. This trick is pretty cool. But don't you want to learn how to build AI-powered applications on your own, like I did with Lazy Coder? Well, that's good, because I have another video showing you how to use Longchain to build from scratch an application that transforms any website into a powerful chatbot. It can answer questions while citing sources as linked to the web page containing the information. The good part is that you don't even need to understand in details how AI works. Models like ChatGPT are accessible with simple APIs. Even if you are a beginner programmer, you can build apps with AI. So what are you waiting for? Check out the video and unleash the power of AI in your project. See you in the next one. Thank you.